It seems that it's an end of an era, but a good one overall, as you heard Mayor Jim Barnes say. So stay tuned as WBONT falls up with the new commission as well as the new Mayor Blythe at the beginning of 2019. When you donate to the Habitat Restore, you do more than just clear out stuff from your home or office. By donating it to the Restore, you can help build a new home for someone in need. The donation is tax deductible and they will even come pick it up from you. Check out the Restore for yourself. Located behind the Richmond Mall or on Facebook. If people ask me, are you going to miss it? You know, if you do something for 12 years, you, you've got to miss some of it. There's things that you'll miss and there's things that you won't miss. So, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to still be in the community. Uh, I'll, I'll miss the employees and, and the, the people, but uh, it's time. They've been a pleasure to work with. You know, people talk, I say, you know, you don't work for anybody, you work with people. And that's the way I feel, and I hope that's the way they feel. And it's, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I'll share this with you. When I first came in office, you know, you set goals and standards that you that you want. But one of the biggest things I had in my mind that I wanted the employees to come to work and leave the day feeling productive and had a good day. And when you do that, it makes it, 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 it it's not a job. It's part of your life. You know, a job is something that's kind of a cumbersome thing. But to go to work and like what I hope that's what you do, that you enjoy it, at the end of the day, you, you've had a good day. We've accomplished a lot uh, from where we started and where we're at today is, I, I, I'm, it had to be, I mean, I mean, it had to be in the Lord's hands. I really, I, I truly believe that because we accomplished some things that only he could give us knowledge and strength to do. Uh, you know, we, today we're, probably 28 to 30 million dollars in cash and no debt. I came in with no cash and all debt. So, uh, and we spent, you know, in infrastructure about 15 million dollars. Uh, you know, and I hope to sit, and I think so, I think the citizens really feel good about Richmond right now. That's a, you know, that's a quite an accomplishment, you know, just to, I mean, we got issues, you know, as everybody has issues. We have growing pains, we have drug problems, you know, we, we, but they're controllable. Uh, the best we can do. Uh, so I feel like the citizens out here as a whole are, are hope they're satisfied with what I did. You know, the biggest thing is keeping it there. And it's going to be tough. I mean, it's, uh, you know, with this pension and uh, I'm just looking at numbers there. I think the next four years we'll be paying out somewhere in six and a half million dollars in this pension and, and health care. Just those two line items. You know, that's a big number. Governments have a hard time raise it's it's all tax revenue driven and you can't just raise taxes just to you know you you got to manage it and uh, I mean we got enough burden on our people today as it is so we don't need to be raising taxes uh, I mean I'd like to say we could lower it but it you know the bigger the city gets the more infrastructure it takes it the more management it takes more money it takes more people it takes it just uh, you know growing is good but uh, I always say I'd rather be growing in jobs than in people, but right now we're growing in people. I've always told people this, can you defend any decision you make? And if you can defend it, you've made a good decision. And I can honestly say that there's not one decision I made that I'd change. That's, that's pretty good. I really, and I mean that. Now, I'm not saying those decisions were made everybody happy, but those decisions were best for the community and citizens, and that's what you do. It's not about me and you, it's about all of us. And I think the future's bright for Richmond. I mean, people worry about change and the new commissioners and the mayor, they'll be fine. I mean, we have change all the time and it's, uh, you know, they'll adapt, well, they do something different, well, sure, they should. But, you know, I, I respect Robert, you know, as you know, as a person. He'll be a good mayor, he'll represent the city wonderful. You know, that's really what makes politics what it is. You know, it's individual opinions about things and, you know, uh, you make decisions that people don't agree with, and you got 90 that agree with it and 10 that don't, but the 10 are the ones that really raise all the ruckus. And the other 90 just go about their business and do their job. And you know, I always say, you know, when I'm out in, in the commission and I'm looking out in the audience, and if there's six people got an issue, I said, that's only six out of 34,000. But I respect their opinions, and then that's, and that's fine. But it doesn't, we can't make a decision based on what they think and it's what's best for the community. I'm working part-time at Logan's of Lexington, I, you know, a clothing store there. I worked there for about 12 years. Then when I became mayor, I couldn't do both. I just didn't have the time. 
So I'm gonna go back here part time, and I've already started working. Been working for about two or three weeks, and get through Christmas. And it's fun, yeah. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna get uh, back engaged in the community, do some things, you know, charity work, and I'm gonna do what I can to make Richmond a better place. I mean, whether I'm in the mayor's office or a citizen, or you know, that's you know, that's all of us. I mean, we just gotta. Everybody needs to work together and uh, be happy. I wish we could get people happy again. I'm not going to retire right now. I've got too much energy to retire. As always, for WBON-TV and the news here in Richmond, I'm Marissa Hemmel.